So you have a fish tank. What kind of fish can you put in it? How many fish can you put in it? Space and territory are scarce, meaning that they are limited. In this video, we'll explore how we can fill that limited space with different combinations of fish. A trade-off is about choosing between two things. For this example, we'll talk about choosing what fish to keep in our fish tank. We can either keep goldfish or neon tetras. Goldfish and neon tetras cannot live in the same tank as one another. This is because they prefer different water parameters and the goldfish might eat the tetras. An opportunity cost is what you give up when you make a choice. For example, the opportunity cost of keeping some neon tetras in your fish tank is keeping a goldfish. What this means is that if you keep neon tetras, you can't also keep a goldfish in the same tank. On the other hand, the opportunity cost of keeping a goldfish in your fish tank is keeping neon tetras. So if you have a goldfish, you can't have neon tetras. A production possibility frontier, or curve, is a graph generally used to show the different alternative combinations of something you can produce. The x-axis has one thing, and the y-axis has another. The curve of the graph shows you that as x increases, y decreases. Or, as y increases, x decreases. We can repurpose this type of graph to talk about two species of compatible fish, neon tetras and guppies. The graph will show how many of each fish we can include in our tank. We're going to put the number of neon tetras on the x-axis and the number of guppies on the y-axis. What we see is that because our space in the tank is scarce, the tank has a maximum capacity. So, if we add in more guppies, we can't keep as many tetras. Or, if we add in more tetras, we can't keep as many guppies. Note that if we have too many fish, we go above the curve, and we have an overstocked tank, which is not healthy. If we go below the curve, we have an understocked tank, which generally isn't too much of an issue. In conclusion, there's a lot in common between fish keeping and basic economics. In this video, we've learned about scarcity, trade-offs, opportunity costs, and production possibility frontier graphs through the lens of fish keeping. Thank you for watching.